what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make some salisbury meatballs now we call these salisbury meatballs because they have that texture of salisbury steak and also all the flavors as if we were making salisbury steak which is one of my childhood favorites so let's get started so first we're going to start off with some lean ground beef and I have my lean ground beef here and then we're just going to add our seasonings to that and along with the seasonings we're going to crack one whole egg now I have about two and a half pounds of ground beef and I'm going to add one egg to that after my egg I'm going to go in with the Worcestershire sauce now I like to add all of my ingredients because I'm going to go in with both of my hands and make these meatballs so we want to add all the ingredients before we um, mix it all together now you can use breadcrumbs I like to substitute breadcrumbs for um, Ritz crackers so that's what I have here I have my Ritz crackers and I'm going to use plenty of Ritz crackers plenty of Ritz crackers you want to go heavy on the um, breadcrumbs or the Ritz crackers because you want that texture if you only put a little bit of the breadcrumbs in then it's gonna get kind of have like a hamburger texture um, or a really really beefy beefy meatball texture but we want a soft texture when you're um, eating these meatballs so want to make sure we add enough of the breadcrumbs now I'm just going in with both of my hands and mixing my meat together mix it as good as possible and then I'm going to start to mold my meatballs right in my hand. You can make these meatballs small, you can make them big. Um, for this recipe, I suggest that you make them at least um, a nice palm size because we wanna give it kind of like that Salisbury steak effect. So we wanna make a nice size meatballs where you only have to serve about two or three of these per guest and they're really, really filling. Some people eat three, the greedy people eat four. <laughs> And then in my skillet, I just have some olive oil that I heated up on medium high heat. And I'm going to brown my meatballs on all sides. And because they're circles, you just have to keep kind of rolling them around in your hot skillet, making sure you turn all the pink, which is the raw meat, of course, making sure you turn all that pink into a nice even brown texture. And this is going to make sure we keep our meatballs together and so they won't break up in the gravy so we're going to actually set these meatballs aside once we get them all brown um, all over we don't see any more pink then we're going to set these aside and start with our gravy in the same exact pan so don't wash that pan and don't get rid of that um, oil or the drippings from the meatballs because that's going to add so much flavor to our gravy so I'm just removing the meatballs and I'm going to add a half a stick of butter to my hot skillet pan. We're going to add some chopped, finely chopped sweet onions and some baby bella mushrooms sliced. To that we're going to add our seasonings which is just salt, pepper and garlic powder for this. And we're going to just give that a nice stir and we're just going to saute that up until the onions and those mushrooms saute and now we're going to add some beef broth so i'm adding about three cups of beef broth and about four tablespoons of ketchup we're going to add that to our base for our gravy and just give that a nice mix bring it to a simmer and while that's simmering, we're going to add some cornstarch to about a cup of water. So actually, you can add two or three tablespoons of cornstarch to a cup of water. Use that as our slur. That's going to um, thicken up our gravy. So as you can see, my gravy is getting thick. And I'm going to keep bringing this to a simmer. And then we're going to pour that gravy over our meatballs. Cover, yes, cover it with some foil. 
on a preheated oven at 375 for 25 minutes. Now this is how our meatballs look. And as you can see, I'm going to thicken up my gravy even more. But this time, I'm going to thicken up my gravy with about three to four tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour. You can use cornstarch still and just mix the cornstarch into this. But to just make this kind of quick, we're going to use three tablespoons of all-purpose flour in our skillet pan and bringing that pan back up to a nice high heat. It's still some oil in the pan. So once it's heated up, I just added my gravy and my meatballs and put some parsley over top of the meatballs. And this is exactly how it looks in the skillet pan. And it looks so yummy. And you can leave this for your viewing. And just look at that, guys. It's so freaking good. When I say this recipe is so filling, and although it's springtime, it's sometimes we still can enjoy a heavy dinner that's just gonna sit on the stomach and give us that nice, good rest. Um, I suggest making this maybe for Sunday dinner um, because it's so filling, but it's so good, so yummy. And I basically put my Salisbury meatballs over top of some garlic homemade mashed potatoes, some sauteed green beans, and I also made some butter dinner rolls. And this was so good. Everybody loved it at my house. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. Remember that presentation is everything. So it's not just about flavors, guys. People also eat with their eyes. So just make sure you can kind of get this kind of look. If you know a better way of plating it, then please do it your way. But let's make sure we serve our family nice, healthy meals. And as always, thank you for coming to my channel. Like, subscribe, comment. See you next video.